Welcome back, Canonites, for a semi-new series I'm calling Theorycraft. Simply put, it's a series for theories on certain aspects of the Halo universe, big and small. Why call it Theorycraft? It sounded cool, and I wanted to make a proper series so I could put it all in a playlist. So, with introductions out of the way, let's dive in. A while back, a long while back, I made a video spectating about the origins of Naomi 010. Naomi first appeared in Halo Glasslands as one of the few surviving Spartan twos following the Covenant War. And beyond that, her service record in the war is never explored, and I mean, never. Not at all. We know she was part of the same class as John, and we know she was one of the 45 that survived the augmentations in some way. It's always possible she was among the 12 that were crippled, that she was later cured of her ailments and fielded as a proper Spartan, but based on the Kilo 5 books, I think it's more likely that Naomi was among the 33 successfully augmented Spartans. When Naomi and then Captain Sarah and Osmond first meet, Naomi is, understandably, shocked to meet someone she thought to be dead, Osmond having been one of the 30 washouts. Osmond, on the other hand, shows no shock at seeing Naomi. Now yes, by then, Osmond would have read Naomi's service record and would know almost everything about her, but never once when Naomi's records, and I mean her full uncensored records, are brought up, is her being crippled by her augmentations ever mentioned. Not by Osmond, not by any of the other characters who are privileged enough to read those records. So, most likely, Naomi was one of the 33 survivors. My original theory was that Naomi was a member of Black Team, mainly because, at the time, only one member of Black Team had been named, and Naomi had a passing resemblance to one of the members. That theory has long since been debunked. Probably for the better. Since then, though, I've had a number of discussions on the matter with fellow Halo fans, and I think I've come to a likely conclusion. Naomi was part of Red Team. No, not that Red Team, the Red Team during the Fall of Reach. In the novel of the same name, while Blue Team, comprised of John 117, Linda 058, and James 005, were taking out nav data before the Covenant could claim it, Red Team, composed of the remaining 22 Spartans, was sent down to defend Reach's orbital defense generators. Red Team's Pelican was shot down during the landing, and upon rendezvousing, they were forced to split up into four teams. Alpha Red, comprised of three Spartans, would take out a Covenant ship supplying ground troops. Gamma Red, also comprised of three Spartans, would secure Vice Admiral Danforth Whitcomb at the Vice Admiral's order. Delta Red, comprised of six Spartans, mostly those severely wounded during the landing, were tasked with holding Castle Base as a fallback point for the other teams. And finally, Beta Red, comprised of six Spartans as well, were tasked with holding the orbital defense generators. Now, before moving forward with this theory, there's one point I need to clarify about Beta Red. In the original and 2010 prints of Halo First Strike, and in the Halo Reach radio conversations, Beta Red is said to be comprised of 11 Spartans. This is because, again in those original prints, the total Spartan complement of Red Team was originally said to be 27, even though 25 Spartans were gathered at Reach in Halo The Fall of Reach. In the 2011 reprint of First Strike, the definitive edition as it's called, a correction was made stating the total complement of Red Team was 22 Spartans, and that Beta Red was comprised of 6 rather than 11. So I just wanted to clarify that point for anyone who might be confused. Anyway, back to the theory. The basic idea here is that Naomi was a member of Beta Red. The fate of all other Red Team Splinter groups is accounted for in First Strike, except for Beta Red. As one might imagine, Beta Red was unable to hold the orbital defense generators. Simply put, there were too many Covenant for six Spartans, or 11 if you want to go with the original story. Not that they didn't put up a hell of a fight, as we would learn in the 2010 Halo Reach radio conversations. These conversations go into the details of what happened to Beta Red, among other things, right up to what might have been their final moments. As one of the last of the orbital defense facilities was being overrun, a Pelican, callsign Iron Fist, was moving towards the facility to evac the Spartans. As it approached, three Covenant cruisers appeared over the facility. Though he stood little chance of succeeding, Iron Fist still attempted to reach the Spartans. Further, however, the UNSC Majestic was called in to hit the three cruisers with its MAC cannons, further complicating Iron Fist's mission. Though the fate of Iron Fist and Beta Red was very grim, it was never properly confirmed whether or not they survived. So, in this way, it's possible that Iron Fist succeeded in rescuing at least some members of Beta Red, maybe even just one, and getting them off reach. And if that were the case, one of those survivors, or the sole survivor perhaps, could have been Naomi. Looking over the lore, I don't really see any other options. So, what do you guys think? Does this seem plausible, or do you have some other possibilities for Naomi's place in the fiction? 
Get our conversation going in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.